I don't believe in silencing. I think it gives him what he wants and actually boosts his importance. So my choice was to do something different. There is no Jewish media cabal mafia. Uh, that is a figment of either your imagination or a projection of a prejudice. You don't have to say what people want you to say, but you have to understand and accept uh, what people I, will and won't tolerate. It's what talking. you say. It's, it's when you okay. say Jewish people own the black vote. Uh, when I wake up, I'm going death con Jewish three on Jewish own people. The black voice. These are not things Jew that you can say coming from a place of intelligence or love or anything productive. Some it's inherently anti-Semitic. And, I'm also and if they're your friends, if they're Why your are friends, you talking over me, bro? because, you're because trying I'm trying to, to correct what you're out. saying that is no, it's not damaging because. to decency. No. You're definitely yeah. saying what the media wants you to say because it drives headlines and clickbait because of how outrageous it is. What I'm saying is, I just hope that you're taking care of yourself, that, for that, your kids, that, and the no, people not, you care about because what you're saying is yeah. uh, not yeah, right that's un, that's and not fair. Now, obviously, he said a lot during the interview. My point is, I don't freeze out. I drown out. I'm for more speech, more debate, more testing. Drown out the ridiculous, the false, and the flagrant. Let the better ideas win. Don't give these people the cover of being canceled or cut off. Now, on one level, Ye is an easy case because his notions are false about Jewish people and demonstrably so. Look, it doesn't matter that I count many of the faith as family and have a strong affinity for the culture and respect the creed. We defend minorities here, especially those who are targeted. And yes, it is uncomfortable to give his ideas an audience. It's even a little scary, to be honest, because you risk having the wrong people excited by their ideas getting oxygen. But you also have the chance to remind them that they are the disrespected few and that their ideas are easily defeated. I'm not blowing a breeze to fuel their fire. It's a tornado that lets them know how easily they are extinguished how they are literally blown away by reason in what we value here. And I know many who believe that ugliness are not likely to change their mind. But what about the rest of us? What about reminding the rest of us of our common concern here and the collective will to bind together, to be interconnected and interdependent, to take on the bad guys? We are better than the lesser few, are we not? Besides, the platform argument was already moot. Ye has been given much bigger platforms than any I could ever offer. And he has more reach than almost any other human being online. So the task was to counter. I was never going to cancel. The ideas were out there and too often allowed unchecked. Same for Ye's false facts about George Floyd. Look, Floyd may have been lionized by some. And you don't have to agree with that. You don't have to like it. But the fact that he wasn't a model citizen and may have had drugs in his system does nothing to erase what we all saw. A cop crushing him for minutes. It was murder. And we found that as fairness under law. That was justice. And others were helping or hapless. Now, why would somebody want to twist that truth? That is the worst kind of self-promotion and deception in the what? The attempt for what? Attention? So the decision for me was to have him on, shut him down, and drown out his ignorance with the reality that the majority is here to put those ideas away. And no, it's not already understood. But it must be because of our politics, because we are ugly with division and everything is defensible if it works to your advantage. You saw that in how easily he was promoted by one half of our political system given a free chance to vomit vitriol without a gut check. We should be on the same page. Let the best idea win. But our politics has us questioning everything. We're so twisted up and confused about our principles that we're in the midst of an election that we all agree should be about protecting democracy, that democracy is a threat, but we're completely split about who the threat is. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.